and gentlemen, let's come to our hand today, led by our uh, friend uh, Samantha Power. And after that, we expect all the media houses to leave their home in June. Actors, independent media, and so forth. We're learning a lot, and we're very eager to Very nice to meet you. Thank you. We have Mustafa Howard. How uh, to implement the resolution? Thank you. Uh, we heard from the members of the Security Council from various countries very useful comments about uh, the implementation of the agreement and the need for us to move expeditiously uh, so that they can see the, us moving, the need for us to create partnership with the UNIMIS and, and that the protection force that is being proposed is there to help us rather than to come and invade the Republic of South Sudan. And based on our own actions and how we plan it together with the UNIMIS, uh, that force could be uh, helpful to us in improving our security situation and uh, giving uh, more life to the people of the Republic of South Sudan. We also addressed the specific issue of the unfortunate events that took place on the 11th in Terrain Hotel, where some uh, criminals and some indisciplined soldiers um, unfortunately uh, intervened, uh, interfered with the freedom of some of our aid workers. That is a matter, a matter of uh, higher priority to the uh, United Nations delegation here, and we addressed it. Uh, we, we have a very positive exchange of views on how to conclude uh, 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 the investigations. Um, we touched on child, issues of child soldiers, the issues of POCs and so on. But generally speaking, I want to assure the people of South Sudan that uh, the rumor out there that the UN has come to impose on us and to bring uh, foreign forces to take the freedom of South Sudan is not there. What is being underlined here is partnership between the government of the Republic of South Sudan and the UN as to how to improve security and to prevent conflict in our country. This is our main journalist. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, I want to underscore uh, the point that was made just there at the end by the minister, which is that Part of the reason the meeting was useful was we got to debunk, uh, as a Security Council, some of the myths that have existed about what the Security Council has intended. In my case, I got to debunk uh, some of the propaganda about the United States and our intentions with regard to South Sudan. And I think, I hope, that uh, the minister's view, as he's just articulated, is shared by every other minister in the room. Uh, that there is now an understanding that when we talk about sending 4,000 peacekeepers uh, to South Sudan on top of the force that is here, it is with one constituency in mind, and that is the people of South Sudan. It is with an eye to protecting them. It is with an eye to ensuring that they get the humanitarian assistance they need. Some are facing famine-like conditions, as all of you know. And I think there's been a lot of rhetoric uh, out there about what the regional protection force will and will not do. And we got a chance to talk through, uh, in very pragmatic terms, what some of its functions will be. And I hope that we have bridged some of the divides that have existed up to this point. The situation on the ground. Two. Um... Uh, another issue, as the minister mentioned, that got a lot of attention was that of accountability. And you know, some raise the question of whether peace comes first followed by justice or justice comes before peace. Fundamentally, we know that they have to go hand in hand. For as long as armed actors rape, uh, loot, and kill with impunity, 
for as long as they are not held accountable, uh, it will be very, very hard for the cause of peace uh, to take hold here. Uh, even if the government can make uh, bureaucratic changes, set up committees, move forward with legal implementation, the hearts of the people need to see justice in order for them to trust in this process. And so the accountability measures, the national reconciliation structure that the government is uh, setting up, the commission of inquiry uh, that the government has set up generally and that that has been set up specifically on the terrain uh, incident, all of these are extremely important. Uh, but it's less about structures and what gets created and more about what these bodies do and whether those who have committed ghastly acts against the South Sudanese, against UN peacekeepers, against aid workers, uh, whether they in fact uh, are held accountable. And so we had a discussion, the issue came up of whether the uh, 